Right now, I'm about to help you set up your TP-Link range extender and connect it to your existing router. The first thing that you're going to want to do is make sure that the TP-Link device is on. Go ahead and plug it into an outlet and verify that the wireless LED is on and blinking. If you don't find that it's blinking, then go ahead and unplug it, then plug it back in. The first and easiest method is going to be the WPS push button method. This requires your router to support WPS. If you look on the router, you should see a WPS button. Go ahead and push this button, and then while the range extender is on, go ahead and push the RE button. After about two minutes, you'll see that the RE light turns solid blue, and it should now be connected to the router. After successfully connecting the range extender, go ahead and move it to a better location if necessary. The best place is to place it in a midway point between the router and a wireless dead spot. At this point, you should be completely done with the configuration, and you can now join your extended Wi-Fi network. Now if you see that the RE light didn't turn solid, then a connection wasn't made and it may be best to try these steps from the beginning again. Another method you can try if you don't have WPS on your router, or if the first method didn't work out for you, is the method 2 in the quick installation guide. The first step will be to ensure that the range extender is plugged in and that the wireless LED is blinking just like we did in the first step of this video. Make sure that your computer isn't connected by an Ethernet cable and wirelessly connect to the range extender. You can do this by viewing your wireless network connections and selecting the TP-Link extender. If you have a Mac, then select your Wi-Fi list and select the range extender. Once you select and connect to the extender, then the browser will automatically open and ask for your username and password. This will be admin admin. On a Windows machine, we're going to try to access the web management page of the range extender. Now to access the page, we don't have to be connected to the internet, so don't mind the exclamation mark down there. First, go ahead and open up the browser and type in tplinkrepeater.net into the address bar. If this doesn't work, then try the IP of the range extender, which is 192.168.0.254. Keep in mind, we're putting this in the address bar, not the search bar. From here, you'll be prompted to enter a username and password. The username is admin, and the password is also admin. You should now be inside the range extender and ready to start the quick setup process. Click Next to proceed through the process until you get to the Wireless Settings tab. From here, you will be able to find the wireless network to which you are trying to connect. Select it and then click Next. The next step will ask you to enter the password of the wireless network. This is the same password that you use when your computer and other devices connect to your main router. On the same page, you will also have the option to clone your router's SSID or give the range extender a separate SSID, wireless network name. Either option you choose will be fine. It's just a matter of preference if you want to see only the router in your wireless network list or the router and the range extender. Keep in mind that if you choose the clone option, then your computer will try to connect to the device with the best signal. After you finish the page, click Next and you will be able to review your settings. If all the settings look accurate, then go ahead and click Finish. The range extender will now reboot and begin to update its configurations. This process can take up to around two minutes and you will see the RE light turn solid blue. This indicates that the range extender is now fully connected to your router and you may now relocate the range extender to a different outlet. As a rule of thumb, it is best to keep the range extender in a location that is midway between your router and a spot in the house that has poor Wi-Fi signal. At this point, your range extender is fully set up and shouldn't require any configuration. If by any chance you were not able to connect the range extender, then I would suggest trying to factory reset the device and give method 2 another try. You can factory reset the device by using a pen, paper clip, or anything that can fit into the reset hole and hold it down for a couple of seconds. If it did connect, then enjoy your extended Wi-Fi network and I hope you found this video helpful.